Okay, we'll we'll look at we'll look at this one together, and then uh, you could try the other ones, and then we'll compare. If you have to kind of decide if you're looking at it as a sine or cosine. Well, actually, that's not true. First, you can decide on the vertical stuff. It doesn't matter, right? It might help to imagine or look at that first and this middle line here. The, the middle of the thing is on the axis, so it hasn't been shifted up or down at all. There's no vertical displacement. If it helps you, you can make a list of, of what you notice, right? There's no vertical displacement, but you don't have to make a list if you don't want. I imagine at some point you won't make a list, even if you do at the beginning here. There's no vertical displacement. From the middle to the top or the middle to the bottom is 3. So the amplitude is 3. Amplitude equals 3. The other thing to look at is what the period is. Period. The period, and actually let's do this each different color here, not that it matters, but... Uh, period, what does it look like the period is there? Where can you measure the period from? You could pick this point and go to the exact same point in the cycle there. Or you could pick this point and go to the next same point in the cycle there. The advantage to using this point is that you don't have to do any subtraction. You can just read what the period is, right? If you look from this point and you follow it till the very next same point, you can just look, well, the period has to be 2 pi there because the length of one cycle is 2 pi. You could get the same thing by looking at this point and this point, but then you'd have to do some subtraction. It's a bit harder. I would look for the period by looking where it is in the cycle at the axis and then finding that same point again, going one complete cycle later and looking. So the period is 2 pi. The other way to know that is if you look at the title of this tutorial, it says <laughs> no period change because we're saving that for 4.2. But just to get us in good habits here. So the period is 2 pi, meaning it hasn't changed. You don't have to put anything in the equation because if I start with this, so I can build this one step at a time here. You can, uh, I'm going to get rid of this now so we can have some space. If you, if you start with sine x here, and you can kind of build it from there. To get the amplitude to be 3, y equals sine x is going to be amplitude of 1, period of 2 pi, not shifted sideways or anything. How do we get it to have an amplitude of 3? Three? 3 in front. There's no, the period is, is 2 pi, the period hasn't changed. Some people make the mistake of putting 2 pi in here because they think they have to put the period in there. You don't put the period in there. You put the value of B that gets you that period. If the period's 2 pi, it hasn't changed. There is a phase shift, though, so we're going to erase all this other stuff, and we're going to look at where... Actually, that line would be useful, but not this. So we'll get rid of the amplitude stuff. If we're looking at this as a sine curve, sine... There's, there's four points on a curve. There's the minimum point, the middle on the way up, the maximum point and the middle on the way down. And then there's just the same points over and over again. Which one of those four points does sine start at? Which point in the cycle? Imagine something rotating around. Here's a uh, Ferris wheel. There's four points on this curve, on this point, on this thing here. Here's you on the Ferris wheel. Okay? Here's, here's in the center going up, right? You're at the maximum, you're in the center going down, and you're at the bottom. There's those four points on the curve, and then it just repeats. We're going to model some things like this with, tri with trig functions after. There's four points that are significant. There's, a, there's an infinite number of points, but those are the ones we're going to look at. Which place does sine start at normally if we haven't done any kind of horizontal shift? Which one? Yeah, like if you, if you just have sine, if you just graph sine of x, does it start at the top? Does it start at the bottom? Does it start in the middle on the way up? Or does it start in the middle on the way down? On, in the middle on the way up, right? If it hasn't been shifted, it starts here on the way up. So really, without a phase shift, this is what it would look like. It would look something like that, except I haven't drawn it very well. 
what we have done is we are now, we're doing this, right? We're shifting it from there to there, okay? So without a phase shift, it would be there, but you've shifted it to here. How much has it been shifted there? One square, we got to figure out what one square is in terms of this scale. That's that's probably a pretty common, like a, people saying, like they get it right, they say minus one because it's one square. What, how much is it? Yeah, it's one square out of four that are pi. Look where pi is, pi is four, so it's minus pi over four. Okay? If we make this a cosine curve, does it change the amplitude? If, you, if you're going to use cosine, cosine and sine look exactly the same, except they're just horizontally shifted. Right? If I make, if I go back to this other thing here, and I graph something sine and cosine, if I start with uh, both of these, whoops, if I put both sine and cosine on there, they have exactly the same shape. It just looks, looks like one is shifted. If I, if I change the vertical, it shifts both of them the same way. If I change this horizontal, oops, okay, if I change this horizontal, it shifts both of them the same way. If you, whatever you change, it changes all of them the same way. The only thing that's different about a sine curve and a cosine curve is the phase shift. If I'm looking at this as a, as a cosine curve, where does cosine start? The normal graph of cosine, does it start at the top, bottom, middle going up, or middle going down? Which one? Start to the top, right? So if we're looking at it as a cosine curve, we've got to use this as our starting point. You might want to draw that axis there just to have you think about where it's starting. Don't forget, if, 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 this, if this was a cosine curve, it would go down to there. It would go down to there. It would go back up to here. And I think I'm one off there, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm good. There, I'm good like that, right? It's not drawn very well, but it's close enough. If you shifted that now, except I did it in pieces, never mind. You can imagine it moving, right? I have to draw in one continuous piece to shift it. Let's try again. I don't want to end on a, on a failure like that. This is, yeah, this is, this will go in the blooper reel, I guess. The, whatever it's called. Because you can't even watch this. Did you say because you can't even watch this? They didn't. Well, no. It's it's me making that mistake. It's it's good. I think it's shifting it like this. How much have I shifted it? I don't know. How many squares have you shifted it? Pick a point that it's easy to tell. Like, well, it starts here, and that point is shifted to there, right? Count how many squares. You want to count them as they go here. This is going to be hard to get both of those now. This will have to go also in the blooper reel. They could possibly hear him. So it's probably best that you don't identify him. But uh, This is going nowhere fast here. But how far have we shifted it here? You're going to watch this one just because of this? Um, how far is it shifted there? Three, three spaces, which is... Three spaces out of four. Each one is a quarter, so three spaces, three quarters pi. This is what people find the hardest is doing the phase shift. The horizontal stuff's hard because of the scale. There are two possible equations. It took me eight minutes and 53 seconds to do that. That's a long time, but I think it's because of all the discussion and everything. I think you can, you can do this. The best thing to do is identify some of the points here and decide what you're doing. If you want it to be difficult, some people like to be difficult. What they could do, because there's always one or two in a class, and it's good, like, it's, they're difficult, but they really understand what they're doing. Instead of calling it a positive sine curve where they start here and go up, you could call it a negative sine curve and go down, right? You could imagine that it's been a reflection. If, how do, what does negative sine x look like at the start? What is, if it was negative sine x, it doesn't start by going up, what happens? It starts going down, right? So you could call it a negative sine curve if you change the phase shift. If you made this the phase shift, 5 pi over 4, you could put a negative here. We will do this in uh, a different color. You could put negative, and you could make that 5 pi over 4 if you want. That's another option. There's a lot of different options there. Okay?
Can you try the other three and then we can compare? And then after that, I, I put the question, sort of some practice questions in here in this chapter four and the answers follow it right away for you to check. It's just testing yourself, right? You want to make sure you know what you're doing. So try these three and then get going on that check your understanding.